How are you doing, beautiful souls? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Tianja, and I am here again with another soul healing motivational video. If you're coming for the first time, please do press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you will find out every time when I upload a new video. And you can also be part of the family. I'm just going to speak my heart. It's just going to be a very straightforward video. And it is almost like a channeled message video meaning that it's going to be relatable to certain individuals and so if you feel feeling within two minutes this one is not for you well i'm sorry you are free to move along to some other videos but let's just go straight to it i'm just going to follow my heart and tell you what i am sent by my higher god my inner self my subconsciousness that i need to share to you and so let's go straight to today's video Stop feeling guilty about being distant. Stop feeling guilty about choosing yourself. There is nothing wrong about acknowledging when there is a certain energy that is having access to you, even if it comes in the form of a person that you feel unsettled about, that you feel uncomfortable about. Sometimes these people are going to be your best friends of years. Sometimes it's going to be your own parents, siblings, people that you never thought you were going to have a fallout from. But it is okay to choose yourself. It is okay to walk away. Not everything is worth a fight. Some things they need to put on a fight for you. There are a lot of things that you might have gone through already with these people or with these situations, but you just haven't found yourself having the courage that you believe that you need that will help you and carry you out of your situation. You cannot stay in a situation for way too long when there is no resolution and there's no solution because Whatever that you are finding yourself living under, it's going to also consume you. It will determine your fate. It will also play a very huge influence in your destiny. So make a decision. And your decision should always be based on your self-love. You come first. We do come first because without us, we won't be able to be present to play the role and the part in their lives that we wish we can play. So you gotta save yourself. You gotta save yourself, whatever it is. It might be a disease of some sort that you might have been procrastinating from dealing with and really coming to the top of the issue so that you can find a permanent solution. Instead, you find yourself being conquered by fear and you think giving up is an option, but it's not. There are people who are cancer survivors. So there is honestly nothing under the sun that have been done that we are unable to do because the formula is already out there. Always listen to your heart. Your heart knows best. Your heart will never lie to you because it is in sync with your path. It is in sync with your life purpose. Your heart knows the original plan of why you're here. That is why if you operate from a low vibrational heart or a dark heart, your heart will always lead you to darkness. But if you are a person who always and constantly search within your heart and give your heart and love and love yourself, it will also attract for you similar situations and similar people. Time is really not against you. But as much as that is true, you got to respect it. you got to respect your time so that people who are also not far from you can also respect your time. I know that there are people who might have played a huge role in your life in causing this self-doubt that you might be feeling and having and this guilt feeling that you might be having. But those were the things that came to teach you a lesson. They were the things that came 
to strengthen your spiritual muscle? What are the lessons you have received out of your situations? Everything that is happening in your life, it is happening so that you can reach a particular realization. And that realization is going to lead you further to where you need to be so that you can fulfill the outcomes that are necessary and that are expected out of your survival, out of your existence, that are based on your life path and your life purpose. People, are, they will always distract you. It's not because you, it is happening out of hatred. It is happening because you are supposed to discover, to discover certain versions of yourself so that you will discover what you have within you that you might have not been aware that you carry. And once you discover what you have, you will be able to utilize it. It is okay to be open to other versions of yourself. You don't always have to be the way you've always been. You don't have to be a stuck up kind of a person who says, I've always done things this way. I've never been any other thing. I've never done things any other way. Are you happy though? Like, does it satisfy you? Does it give you the outcomes that you're looking for? Does it grow you? Are you exploring with the way you're doing things, which is the same way you've been doing over a period of years? Because if the answer to all those questions is no, then clearly you need to take a leap and jump as afraid as you are. And you will be surprised that the things that you're so scared of actually are the very same things that are going to make you feel like a hero after you have made that jump. Because you want to feel so great about yourself that you did something that you never imagined that you can do. People who hate on you are always going to be there. Do not allow your pain and the words and actions of other people to determine how you make your moves in your life. It's part of life. They are part of life. They need to be there. There is a particular purpose they are playing out of this whole overall plan of your life. So they are necessary. They don't need to distract you or disturb you in your path. You should not lose focus and attention. You got to do what you came here to do. You got to do what you said you're going to do. With or without people who are either cheering for you or complaining and discouraging you. It is really not about them. You are the main character of your own story. Matter of fact, you are the director and the script writer of your own story. You decide what's to be done, when and how, what's to be said. You carry that power. Most often as humans, we have this tendency of focusing so much on the external side of our lives, things such as other people's achievements, other people's growths. When we see people attaining and achieving things that we still wish and we wish we can also bring closer to our lives, instead of being encouraged and being inspired, sometimes there's always that sense of jealousy and it's human nature, by the way. There is going to be that sense of jealousy that is there and it is going to be driven based on the energy that you're going to feed it. Because if you feed that jealousy with inspiration, inspiration and motivation and focus and attention and doing the things, by doing the things, people who have what you want did, you will also receive similar results or even better results and you will feel so proud of yourself that you did what you did you can also release the energy of envy and jealousy instead of being happy for them and being inspired out of seeing them do what they do then you get discouraged and don't you stop trying to even learn half of what they might know so that you can take yourself there too now there it's a different situation and a different scenario because you are doing the opposite. You are pulling yourself back. So whatever energy you release will determine your fate with what you are seeking for. Because what you are seeking for is also seeking for you. Stop this thing of seeking for other people's approvals. You do not need any other person that is outside of yourself to approve the way you think, to approve the way you take your decisions and the way you move and the way you love. 
you do not need to hesitate when you take life changing decisions that spirit or energy of hesitation on its own can also hinder your growth it can also disturb and disrupt your manifestations because you are moving with an unsure energy so when you create that frequency of energy you are creating a door or a portal of anything to walk in and come in as a result of what you have done with hesitation hesitation means unsurety means anything is possible so when you operate from that place you are also attracting situations that are also going to get you confused and make you be very unsure of a lot of things in your life that is why i believe that you rather not start what you need to start if you are still not sure because that on its own can bring you failure that on its own can mean you have already failed before you even begin because you are not sure of what you're doing you did not take time to make yourself to convince yourself to brainwash yourself and manipulate yourself in believing that what you are putting your energy into what you are working on is definitely going to bring back what you are seeking last but not least as the chosen ones i want you guys to understand ukuthi it is okay to bring out the fire sometimes i know that you are water babies you are calm most of the time and yes there will come times where your water needs to boil sometimes so that you can let go of that energy you know there are times where you shouldn't just be underestimated just because you are love and light and people think that's all you are about people who are love and light they need to match the energy when it comes to the opposite side you need to match the energy so that you can balance the yin and the yang so that you can reduce the number of people who feel like they are allowed to just walk into your space and do as they wish to make sure uguti like how we say in our language when they show uguti abagibeli ekhandalakho you got to balance you got to balance water and fire how do you do that when people start to break or they try to force entry into your boundaries that you've been very clear about they need to catch the smoke about that don't let them go freely without any consequence or any information or any feedback from you based on how you feel about what they are doing most often the chosen ones are the so called people who are quiet even if they are not necessarily quiet or not introverted but they will tend to just let things be because they are for peace sake kind of people they would walk away without confronting you they would let you do what you do and then they will see you for who you are and chances are they would use distance or whatever way to coexist or to basically survive people who are constantly crossing their boundaries but there comes a point in time where you got you've got to fight your battles you've got to stand up for yourself you have to vocalize your feelings and your emotions and your frustrations because the more you keep taking and taking and you don't release you are also harming yourself by blocking your your throat chakra and when your throat chakra is blocked there's a lot of things also that are not good that follow after just because when you have blocked your throat chakra some people it even manifests itself into sicknesses where you find people will lose their voices they stop talking no matter when they speak they will have to use the whisper version of speaking because their throat chakra is now compromised you've got to be somebody who stands up for something in this life especially if you are the chosen one especially if you are the water baby you are the introvert you are the empath you are an earth angel you are this person who's empathetic who's a helper who's a, a service to abantu bangunkulunkulu you've got to take care of yourself if you are a combination of all those things or no matter that's who you are you've got to also give something to yourself that will give you a backbone or a support structure ukuthi you know 
Uguti, you don't operate from fear when it comes to you expressing things that you feel they are getting out of hand, especially when it comes to things that matter the most to you. Do not underestimate the power of lending an ear and lending a hand when somebody who is in need comes to you. There is going to be this instant feeling that you're going to feel, Uguti, as in, I'm driven to say yes. So choose not to listen to your fear because there's also going to be fear. Some words such as, oh, you can't trust anyone. You can't help everyone. People, you help them. They change it. They switch on you. You're not doing it for them. You're doing it for yourself. If you are this type of a person, you have the power to put some color in, in your life by lending a hand, lending some help, and lending an ear. There are people or certain individuals who will find healing through having a conversation with you. That's the power of energy. That's the power of somebody who carries a certain healing aroma or who carry a certain healing aura. People are going to have a conversation. You will draw a lot of people who just want you to, to listen to their problems because they believe that you have the answers and the solutions to their problems and sometimes you'll ask yourself what's out of all people what did they see in me you find them clamping in public spaces and queues there are people who are beggars or people who are homeless who are going around looking and seeking for help they'll leave everybody and come directly to you there is a reason why that is happening because energy speaks louder than words i hope that this video did find you in good spirit and thank you so much for coming back again I am going to see you again next time, guys. Take care. Keep on being beautiful. Love and light.